pray that down, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Erica. Please do subscribe. Please hit the notifications bell so you know when I post a brand new video. So today guys, I am doing a seafood boil and I have some king crab, I got some shrimp, I got some corn, sausage, some lobster tails. Yeah, I got my lobster tail back y'all. Look at that. I just can't wait to eat that. Got a little mini boil. I got some broccoli in here throughout. It's not that much, but it's some. And of course, you know I'm rocking with my own sauce today. I got my triple E sauce on deck. Y'all, it is just so bomb. If you haven't tried it yet, please go try it. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It's a healthier sauce for you. I am definitely loving it. The only alterations I made to the main ingredients, I added like a little bit more brown sugar and like a dash of um, Tabasco, like one little drop of Tabasco in there so it doesn't make it real unhealthy. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get started eating. So first I'm rolling up my sleeves because I don't wanna get my shirt dirty for today. Missed you guys. Um, I'm excited to see you today. So um, yeah, I don't know what to start with. I'm just so excited about everything. I'm so happy to have lobster back because I didn't have any lobster for a while. So I'm gonna go with shrimp. It's just like, seems like it's just, you know, appetizer. The shrimp's the appetizer, and then you just move on to the full course meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this shrimp. And these are tiger shrimp. And today I'm gonna to be telling you guys a little bit more about me, um, but I'm gonna eat first before I start that, but I'll be doing that so you guys can know a little bit more about me. The sauce always hit the spot. It was nice to not have to eat seafood though. I didn't eat seafood for two days now, I think. But guess what, y'all? I'm craving it. So I hope everybody's having a good day, afternoon, morning, good weekend. I'm so hungry, y'all. So the sauce is really hot right now, so it's like thin. It hasn't, because I warmed it up, so it's real, real thin until it like cools down or get thicker. But I can't wait, I'm so hungry. I'm not waiting for that <laughs> to get thick. turkey sausage, y'all. Everything is fantastic, cause I think I wanna just drizzle some on the whole thing because it's starting to get thickened up. But I just wanna drizzle it all over everything. Mm-mm-mm. This triple E sauce is the bomb, y'all. No lie. No lie. What else can I get up in here? So that drizzled this stuff. It's not enough on the sausage. My corn. There we go. So I got another lobster tail up front here, if y'all can see it. It's right there. So I got two lobster tails, and I think they're like nine ounce lobster tails. I can't wait to get into those two. Mm. Bursting with flavor. That shrimp is bursting with flavor. 
So this time, get my orange and lime on there. I forgot to last time. What was I thinking? What was I thinking, y'all? Now, it already got orange and lime in the sauce, but I want that fresh right on top of there. Mm, 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 mm. So I found some really unique questions online that I was reading. I was like, this would be great, you know, way for you guys to get to know me because they're different questions, not the ordinary questions that someone would really ask you. So I'm excited about I'm excited about answering these questions. I didn't really, I read some of them, but there's a whole bunch of questions, so. I can be a little <clears throat> spicy, y'all. Mm. That corn is so sweet. I feel like it's a good balance. Spicy and sweet. Alright, man. Mm mm mm. Yeah, that was good, y'all. I tore that corn up. All right, now y'all waiting for me to get to that lobster. I'm tearing this food up. I'm so hungry. All the time when I be recording, I didn't eat. I don't eat anything before I record. So I be real hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the lobster tail. Because it's just looking at me like, eat me. Please. And I'm like, say no more. The seasoning on her. Bomb.com. So here's the lobster tail. Excuse me, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That's bomb, y'all. Cook to perfection. All right, y'all, so I'm going to start answering some of the questions here. It says, if you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? 
I would definitely catch up on my videos recording. Like I would definitely get some of my recordings out the way, like maybe like maybe two or extra video, one extra video because I already do one when I'm woke. So the time that I would do, I would sleep, I would record an extra video. And I don't know, I would probably catch up on, like research a lot of things. Like I like to research stuff and find out how to do things. So I would probably do that um, most definitely. It says, what fictional place would you most like to go to? Uh, I think I would like to go to um, Oz. Like the Wizard of Oz, that would probably be one of my fictional places I would like to go to. Oh no, I I, I don't know. It's a, it's it's a cross between. Excuse me, Willy Wonka. Or I would say Willy Wonka. Or to see the Wizard of Oz, probably. Those are the two fictional places I would like to go to. Probably. It says, what job would you be terrible at? Um, I don't probably at being a mailman. I, I think I would be terrible at being a mail person, like delivering people's mail, because I just think that for some reason I would just get everybody's mail mixed up. Um, I, I just, and then like the weather and stuff like that, I, I don't, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do that at all, so I'll, I'll have to say that. Also, being a male person. Okay, ask me. It asked me, what is my favorite drink? My favorite drink is probably lemonade. So I always want to drink lemonade, but lately I have been drinking water. But my favorite drink is lemonade, like any type of lemonade, blueberry lemonade. Um, pink lemonade. Well, pink lemonade is a little tart, so I like I like all lemonades, but lemonade is my favorite drink. It doesn't matter what flavor it is. Um, what state or country do you never want to go back to? Um, I don't think I visited a state that I would never want to go back to. I don't think so. Like when I went to Dallas, Texas. I had a really bad experience there. Um, we we went there for the All-Star game, me and my cousin and my sister, and it was snowing. We had tickets to go to like Six Flags. We didn't get to go to Six Flags because of course it was snowing. So they had to give us like, you know, tickets for another day. And um, so that was the first thing that happened. We got there with snowing or we couldn't go to Six Flags. Um, the parties that we were, this is when I was younger. So the parties we were supposed to go to, it was, they weren't like we thought they were going to be. And then to top it off, when we were leaving, they gave our seats away on our flight. So I had a horrible experience in Dallas and the people were rude. Not to say that everyone in Dallas is this way, but I just had a hor horrible experience. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't go back because that was a long time ago. I mean, you get, sometimes you're going to get certain things where I, where I am right now, I get certain things where I live at. So I wouldn't say I wouldn't go back. It says what game or movie universe would you most likely like to live in uh, i would say super mario but i'm just it's too many um things trying to kill you there so i don't know about that one and sonic too a lot of the games have you know things trying to kill you i don't know if i want to live in any of those worlds i would probably say the sims because i could build my own yeah i could build my own stuff in The Sims. So the video game will probably more than likely be The Sims. Are you usually early or late? Definitely more late. Terrible with being on time. That's just something that I'm just gonna to admit to you guys. I'm just, I'm terrible with being on, being on time. So I'm gonna get into this King Crab, y'all. Get into this. Now I'm gonna to try to cut this and hold this part like everyone else does, but I always seem to crack this and then, um, you know, take this part out. Here was a seashell on my crab leg. Look at that, y'all. Just a whole bunch of meat on here. If you never have crab legs before, well, these king crab, they're so sharp. They are so sharp. 
I cut my hands a whole bunch of time messing around with these things. Still attached. Yes, indeed. Looks so bomb and tasty, y'all. <laughs> Just dip that right in there. Now it's gonna come, watch it come off before I even get a chance to, <laughs> to eat it. Spray that down, y'all. So freaking delicious, y'all. So just for some random get to know me questions. My favorite color is black. Don't ask me why. When I was, ever since I was like a teenager, I used to always wear black. I don't know why I love to wear black. I think because it just goes with everything. Like, even in my house, it's black and something. <laughs> Love black. But for decor, I really definitely love, like, beiges and pinks and, um, you know, browns. I like those colors, too. You know, creams. I think the I for, think for home, I think those, those are probably, like, my favorite home colors. Like, for a room. You know what I mean? I think those are... Those are really good colors, a real good color scheme. And it says, one of the thing, one of the questions on her ex, when people come to you for help, what do they usually want help with? Most of the time, it's advice. I'm one of those people to see both sides. I don't, you know, just because you're my sister or you're my family member or you're my best friend, I'm not going to take side with you if I know the full story and you were wrong. That's just not how I am. So if someone really wants the truth about something or honest opinion about something, they'll come to me because they know I'm going to give them the real. Like, I just like to keep it real. So I'm not giving you just, I'm not going to just tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you were wrong, if you were wrong. And if you're right, I'll tell you you were right. But I'm not just going to just tell you anything. So That corn is making me fool, y'all. I don't want no more of that. That corn is being real annoying. So I'm done. Sorry I couldn't finish that for y'all. I want no more of that. I'm going to get full off together. That crab leg says over the top. All that meat. The next question says, What takes up too much of your time? That's very simple. My job. It said, who's your go-to band or artist when you can't decide on something to listen to? Most definitely it's Beyonce. So if I'm in the car and I can't find anything to put on, I'll put on Beyonce because she has a bunch of songs and a, lunch, a, a bunch of songs that I like. Or Justin Timberlake. I put on the Justin Timberlake albums. I like the first one. Um, 
I like all of them. Especially this last one I really listened to. I really put that one on. The one uh, 2020 Experience. I love that album. So I could play that. If I don't have anything else to listen to, I always go back to that. Or like Beyonce. It says, what TV channel doesn't exist but really should? I think it should be a mukbang channel. I really do. I think that there should be a channel that people can watch mukbangs. You know, and it should be YouTube should make an ch actual channel, but that probably wouldn't make sense if they're making money off of an uh, internet website. So I don't know, but I think there should be a mukbang channel. It says, what TV show or movie do you refuse to watch? I really don't like to watch uh, many movies with devil devilish things in it. I, I try to stay away from those, or like gory movies or shows or anything like that. I don't like watching those. I don't like like real gory stuff. I could watch a scary movie, but I don't want to see like a gory scary movie. So that that will probably be the answer there. All right, guys. So I am completely full. Like I can't eat anything else. I I I try. I really try, but I'm full. And I think it was because I was going hard at the beginning of eating. So I'm done. Can't touch anything else. So. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Probably got like one minute and the camera's gonna cut off. So I thank you guys for tuning in with me. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notifications bell. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. So until then, bye-bye. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.